Bram van der Drift is a chemical engineer who started his career in research on combustion. Since 17 years, Bram has been working on gasification and gas cleaning technologies with a group of approximately 15 people. At the Energy Research Center of the Netherlands, he has been working mainly on biomass gasification. ECN is a consortium partner of Scopebig, providing inputs on technology for higher efficiency biomass gasifiers and technical and data analysis support. Thank you for joining us for this interview. Um, at the outset, uh, would you tell us a little bit about ECN's role in um, this project Scopebig? Uh, yes, of course. Um, ECN is uh, a research institute in the Netherlands, and we are uh, active in mainly in biomass conversion technology developments. Uh, and our role in this project is to take care that the uh, the designs of the uh, biomass conversion facilities, gasifier and uh, combustion, uh, is uh, is good enough and is good, uh, fuel flexible and that sort of things. So we are sort of uh, advising the project partners in biomass conversion. Okay, thank you. Now. Um... Out of combustion and gasification as technologies, which do you think has better scope for larger penetration in the industry, especially in conjunction with solar thermal technology? Yeah, that's uh, that's a difficult question because it's always uh, the question what you compare it with. Um, in in this particular project, uh, the the uh, solar energy is used as much as possible but it has its limitations and that is exactly what biomass comes in for so it it sort of adds something to the solar energy to make it much more efficient uh, whether you do that with combustion or gasification is is not so much uh, the question I think it's uh, that has to do with fuel flexibility for example if you want to fire all kinds of waste biomass materials then sometimes gasification makes more sense if it's easy wood then uh, probably combustion is uh, the better option so it's it's not a very easy question to ask to, to answer okay. is that okay? okay yes yes that sounds good <laughs> um <laughs> Now, um, at what scales can gasification compete with other conventional power generation technology? Yeah, if if the question is uh, really about gasification uh, and power is the product you like, then uh, there's actually two things where gasification is uh, really uh, competitive, and that is the small scale where you use a gas engine to produce power there's nothing as efficient as having a gas engine uh, but also on a very large scale where you have gas turbines and steam cycles that are very efficient also gasification is very beneficial to uh, compare to for example combustion uh, but that's only part of the the answer of course um, <clears throat> Gasification can also be used, which is very popular, uh, more and more popular, to produce all kinds of chemicals and stuff. So not power, but chemicals. And then usually you like you like the larger capacities more than the smaller capacities, just because of the costs in the plant. Um, what kind of technological advancements do you think one can um, look forward to or should look forward to in order to increase the efficiency of uh, gasification as a process? Well, very, very important, I think, in, in almost any case is its fuel flexibility. So if you're uh, thinking of all kinds of agricultural residues, uh, clean, but also uh, contaminated, 
then the most important thing is to have a conversion technology that is capable of handling all these different fuels. And that is, that is usually quite a challenge because you have to cope with contaminants that are uh, <clears throat> resulting in melting, for example, or uh, corrosion or all kinds of uh, mechanical problems. Uh, so the major, I think the major advancement, technology, technological advancement that is required is to make it more and more fuel flexible. Okay. Now, um, in your opinion on the future of cogen technologies, you know, such as solar and biomass or geothermal and biomass, um, what kind of a future do you see for uh, their use in off-grid power generation? Yeah, this is, I think, a very interesting combination. Um, maybe not for our country, but uh, I can imagine in India uh, having a lot of solar uh, energy coming down. This makes a lot of sense because it exactly is let's let's say if you have just solar your efficiency is not very very high the biomass can give you the extra efficiency for relatively little biomass uh, compared to just biomass you save a lot of biomass uh, if you are using the solar energy if it's there uh, the same holds for geo uh, geothermal of course that's 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 the easy energy you should use, and the biomass is there to upgrade the energy to make it higher efficiency. So I think for for locations like India or locations where there's a lot of uh, geothermal um, uh, energy, the combination makes a lot of sense because a little adding a, adding a little biomass creates a lot of efficiency gain. Thank you, Thank you so. Much.